Hello and welcome back friends. We are here with what could be one of the spookiest games we have played thus far. It is a game off of Steam called Don't Scream and the reason why it's called that is because its sole purpose is to get us to jump scare, scream, whatever, make a loud sound so that way we have to start the game over. But little does this game know, you and me, we don't get scared. We never make loud noises here. We are honestly kind of cracked at scary games. Throw whatever you want at us. I will not be bullied into starting over. Mark my words. So let's jump into it and let's show this game how sick we are, shall we? Don't scream. You got it. I promise I won't do it. Okay. So far? This is kind of spooky. Did I already exceed the threshold? I screamed. No, I didn't. Now that's a scream. That's not what I did. Okay, maybe this is too sensitive. I have to be able to talk. Okay. What happens if I just, like, whisper? No screaming, guys. This game is touchy. Can I pick up this bag? Hello? Are you okay? Yeah, she's probably fine. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going. Why does it sound like somebody's behind me? What does the sign say? Oh. Cemetery? Mini Mart? Homestead? Or farm? Cemetery sounds like it would be creepy. But also, not very lively. Shopping. You know how us girls are. Always like to shop till we drop. In this case, we're not gonna drop because we're not gonna scream. We're gonna be so quiet. Is that a plane? Is that blinking light over there? It's a soda machine. That's pretty cool. I have one? No. It's fine, I didn't want one. I'm thirsty. My body's hanging up there. What's happening? Did I crash here on the plane? Like, is that how I ended up here? Sound. No. I don't like that sound. I've heard the sound before in Silent Hill. And frankly, it never seems to turn out okay. I think that's when the spooky stuff happens. When Pyramid Head comes out. You guys have to use the bathroom now is your time, okay? I won't look. I'll face the other way. But if you have to tinkle, do it now.
I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> she came out of nowhere. What was I supposed to do? I didn't scream. I gasped. <laughs> Guess you can't gasp in this game either. Okay, well, we're not going to go in there. This... Screw that. Keep going straight. Follow this nice blinking arrow. Because, frankly, that's really nice that they have an arrow blinking of what direction we're supposed to go. I don't think we need a car. I am only getting a few items. That's when I leave the grocery store with my hands absolutely full. Do you guys want any books? You don't read. Honestly, this produce looks pretty good. You know, for being like a scary game, it looks, it looks pretty fresh. Do you think... no. Do you think they're cannibals? that live in this area, and that's why they have the hanging meat and like all of their produce and everything looks good. Cause like somebody's restocking this grocery store. Also, why do we always end up in like grocery stores or mini marts or gas stations and video games? I mean, I know that we chose the mini mart, but like, Why do we do this to ourselves all the time? It's gonna pop out at me at any moment. I'm so scared. What's that sound? I'm sorry, what? What did I die from? I didn't even make a sound. What? This game's rigged. Five minutes later. Toilet. Is that a head? Gusting. Get out of here. Why is that twirling like that? Oh, you're having a good time. Let me go see if we can make it back to like the other places. We just went up this hill, right? Why does it sound like there's something like literally trailing behind my booty? The 
arrow sign. Sign. We made it back to the sign. So now we can decide where we want to go next. I think kind of feeling farm. Well, just because like I've been playing a lot of like cozy farm simulator games and frankly I could use <coughs> Frankly I could use a little cozy gaming right now. You know, I think we could all use a little cozy gaming because this game, well, it's, it's a little high stress. But don't worry, we're gonna go to the farms and relax. She's okay. What was Samara doing here? A little kooky in this forest right now. Is that the farm? The scare. don't like spiders. Spiders scare me. I have to look away if I see spiders. I can't look them in their eyes. We have the creepy crawlies now. So, what in the ritual summons was going on in this farm? Why are we always ending up in mini marts or cold? I'm just out here sacrificing people. This is crazy. Sorry, I didn't mean to run right through you. That was really rude. I think she's a banshee. I'm gonna go into the house. Did I knock or did somebody knock?
feel their way into the house. Just breaks a window. What are they going to do? Put me in their farm barn thing? Sacrifice me? Those guys scream a lot. Unlike us, we don't scream at all. We're so quiet. But the thing is, is, I'm like sweating, so I'm like sticking to like my desk and my keys and stuff. Which might be a little bit gross and too much information, but like... It's making it like to where I don't want to move too much because I'm afraid that I'm gonna like bump something or hit something like super loud. And then I'm gonna have to start over. And I don't really want to start over again. Okay. Let's follow this arrow sign and see where it wants us to go. This game is really throwing everything at us right now. And I feel attacked on a personal level. There's a lot of ship crashes here. You think we're in the Bermuda Triangle? I don't think I could help her. She didn't have a head and I didn't want to give her mine. Call me selfish, but I need my head. What's that over there? mini bar. Let's go back up and see if we can't hit one other place before the game ends. here with that. I'm gonna lose. I've come so far. Make it. We win. Now what?
We win. <gasps> Yay! We did it! Congratulations, you didn't scream for now. You survived 59 scares. Sick. All right, guys. Well, that was Don't Scream. We made it. We didn't scream. We survived 59 scares. So you, you're brave. Pat yourself on the back, all right? You did it. You didn't scream once. And frankly, I was a little worried about you for a second there. So good job. I hope you guys enjoyed that playthrough and I will catch you next time with another spooky game. Bye!